This is Duke University. Morning. Um, I see that we've got a lot of Fuqua people here and then a number of, of non-Fuqua people. Um, I'm going to encourage people to come in. We have a number of people getting coffee in, in the hallways right now. So we're going to encourage people to come in. There are a lot of people that are registered and that are coming in. And um, but given that it's 9.15, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm Russ Morgan. I'm associate dean for the daytime program here at Fuqua. So we'd like to welcome all the non-Fuqua people here to Fuqua. And then I'd like to welcome everybody, too. This is the 2013 Sustainable Business and Social Impact Conference. So, We've got a great conference scheduled for you guys. Um, I'm gonna turn it over in a little bit to the people who really planned it out here. But um, by way of introduction, I just wanna say that we have, this is, this is, first of all, this is the eighth year that we've had this. And this is arguably gonna be, it's, it's fa fabulous every year, but ar arguably this year um, is gonna be the best one that we've had yet. So I have great expectations. We had 12 of our clubs collaborate to put this event on. And so for me, uh, we talk about Team Fuqua, and a lot of the culture here is centered on collaboration. And when I, hear, when I heard that uh, from these guys, I was blown away. So um, there's been a lot of work by a lot of our clubs that have gone into this. The lead club is, is Net Impact that's been um, involved in putting this on. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with our Net Impact Club. They do a lot of activities here at the school throughout the year. Um, they were actually recognized among all the Net Impact chapters across the United States. They were recognized as the National Chapter of the Year last year. So, so in, in part, I think um, we've had great leadership over the years with this club, and I think uh, in, in part it was recognizing what's happened over the years. But I also want to thank uh, Abigail Lundy and Elena Bohm, this year's presidents, uh, for everything that they've done for the club this year. So, I, I'm sure it's bittersweet for them, but I actually got an email this morning that announced that club elections start today. And so I think they might have two weeks left uh, of, of, their, of their term, but thanks to them. Um, again, uh, I think we're going to have around 450, 480 people here today. And so they're obviously all not here in this room right now, but you're going to see a lot of people. And I think that's a testament to how important this program is and this conference is. It's a very important topic. Obviously, you guys are here and recognize that. Um, but it's also a testament to the program that's been put together by these clubs and the students here. And so I appreciate everything that they've done. This is also very important to Duke and to Fuqua. And so again, I know a lot of you um, are in the community here and involved with, with Duke and involved with Fuqua. But Duke has stated that, that kind of the confluence of these issues is an important initiative. And, and in particular, it's an important initiative for us to look at and being thought leaders across the different schools. And so when you look at some of what's been going on the last couple decades here, and certainly the last 10 years or so within Fuqua, it's been really, really important to have some sort of leadership and some sort of constructs to have collaboration across the schools. And so I think you're familiar, or some of you are familiar with a couple of the, the centers that we have. So the, the lead centers that we have that are involved with these, these types of activities are EDGE and CASE. And so if you're familiar with EDGE, the Energy Development and the Global Environment, the center that focuses on that. And then CASE is involved with the advancement of social entrepreneurship. So we're delighted that those are housed here. I mean, that's our way of connecting to the community, of getting Duke Fuqua and the community connected together around these issues. So I think you know we've been working on these, something like this conference, I think makes it more tangible, some of the connections that we have. So we're, we're delighted to have this conference set here and to have a number of the people that are associated with these centers involved with it. Um, you'll see, I, I think, uh, Dan Vermeer is going to be involved later this afternoon. So if you're familiar with Dan from EDGE, and I know that Kathy Clark and Paul Bloom, I'm not sure if Matt Nash is going to be involved, but I know that a number of the people from CASE are going to be involved. So if you're from outside the community, connect with some of these people that are involved with some of our centers. And I think that's, again, one of the opportunities with something like this today. So um, I do want to also thank, we have around 50 people from the community, both inside and outside Duke and Fuqua, involved in panels and speaking today. And again, that's, that's a, a, a huge number, and it, and it allows us to get a lot of input and a lot of intellectual input into the discussions today. So I want to thank all the people that are going to be presenting and talking to everybody today. 
And then at this point, I want to turn it over to the people who really made this happen. So there are a great number of students that really led to this event happening today. And the two in particular that I really want to thank are Daniel Norber and Kirsten Hagfer. So I'd like to turn it over to you guys at this point. Good morning, everyone. Can you all hear me? Is this working? So thanks for coming this morning to SBSI 2013. In a second, I'm going to turn it over to Kirsten to kick it off and introduce our panelists. But before we do that, I just want to give a little bit of conference information, conference background, give you a peek under the hood. And we'll start with, we'll start with this. We'll start with the logo. And not quite the partners, the logo. Oh. The logo. <laughs> so beyond the bottom line, what is, why, why did we choose beyond the bottom line? And when Kirsten and I were thinking about a topic for, or, or a tagline for the, for the conference this year, we knew that we wanted to highlight the fact that now more than ever, businesses don't have to choose between impact, sustainability, and profit. They can do both. And beyond the bottom line is, is the tagline that we thought that was really expressive of that. And you're going to see it throughout the day in a bunch of different ways. We'll hear from people who have taken processes and made them more sustainable, but also more profitable. We hear from folks who have changed over business lines and taken standard ways of doing business, turned them on their head with an impact, with an impact mission, but not lost the profit. Or there's other, or there's other groups that have created entire industries out of this combination of, of impact and profit and just opened the world wide up to do this. So regardless of how they've managed to do it, one thing that you're going to see from all of these groups is a lot of passion. And so that's something that we saw throughout the, throughout the process of engaging panelists, and something that we also saw when we were engaging sponsors. As Russ mentioned, we have, 20, or we have 12 clubs that were, that were excited and wanted to, get behind this, wanted to get behind this topic. And we had 20 groups overall from the Fuqua community, the Duke community, the Durham community, and even the international business community. So this is something where there's a lot of momentum and, and people are really excited about. So if these are the people that made the conference possible, I also want to take just a minute to recognize the people that made the conference happen. Because we may not, you know, they, they may not be uh, standing up and, and speaking, but they're the reason that the conference is able to happen. And the first group of people that I want to recognize is the Net Impact Club. They were instrumental in helping us table and market and get the word out and, and talk, to the, talk to their friends and, and make sure the FUCA community knows about this event and knows how important this event is. So thank you to the Net Impact Cabinet for all the work that you've done. And then specifically within the Net Impact Cabinet is uh, the Green Week team. This is actually the first year that Green Week and SBSI are happening together. And you will see the Green Week fingerprints on the event throughout the day. And um, Jana Holt and Carrie Ganella have been instrumental with running that team and, and putting together not just a day of a conference, but an entire week to help focus the school on efforts that are easy and green and just getting the word out and making sure that people know that it's, it's easy being green. So thank you to Yana and Carrie and their team. And then the third group of folks are the ones sitting down here in the, in the second row, and that's our, our SBSI team. So we have our track managers, Michelle Kirby, Jen McFan, Pranav Bergava, and Maddie Devine, and Dave Meek is running around like a crazy person making sure that everything runs well today. So they have put in hours and hours and hours and have received, we, we calculate thousands of emails to make sure that this actually happens. So if you see them in the halls, you know, give them a pat on the back, thank them for all their hard work, um, because they are the reason this conference is happening. So thank you guys. <laughs> So I'm going to turn it over to Kirsten in just a minute, but there's, there's three things that I want to let you know about the conference today um, that are really important and really exciting and happening throughout the day. So the first thing is that for the morning, uh, Faculty Hall, which is on the other side of the Winter Garden, which is where breakfast was, is going to be the Lipton Lounge, where you can have some Lipton Rainforest Alliance certified tea and read about some of the things that they're doing to make their their supply chain more sustainable and their farming more sustainable. So that's in the morning. The second thing is 
During lunch, there will be tables set up in the Winter Garden that some of them will have standards next to them that say things like sustainability or technology or finance. And these are, these are area of interest tables. So if you go to a panel and you, you see something interesting or you want to engage somebody, students, uh, members of the community, panelists, please feel free to sit there, engage, make a new friend, talk about what you heard, talk about what you want to hear, um, and make sure you take advantage of that during lunch. So the third thing is that there's a lot going on today. There are a lot of great speakers. There are a lot of great panels. I know you may want to go to all of them. Unfortunately, you're going to have to make a choice. But to make that choice, there will be schedules posted outside of Janine all day that you can see what's going on at each specific time. And if you haven't had a chance yet to download Guidebook, it's uh, an application for smartphones or I think you can even get it for a computer that will, uh, it's, it's a digital program. And so last year we printed 450 copies of the speaker book and they were each about 30 pages. And this year we were able to reduce that by three quarters um, just by having guidebook. So please make sure you download that, take a look and use it. Uh, and that's just one of the many ways that we're trying to make this conference a little bit, a little bit more green. So we are thrilled that you are here. We have put in months of work on this and have an amazing group of speakers that are here to engage on every topic from health to clothing to education to technology. It, it just runs the gamut. And so now I'm going to turn it over to Kirsten, who's going to get us started with our panelists, or our, our keynote speakers. Thanks, Daniel. So excited to be here today. Really, really pumped about the day. First off, who's a tweeter? I tweet. If you guys tweet, we got a hashtag. It's SBSI2013. At the end of the day, we're going to pick the best tweets and give out some gift cards to Bull City Burger, um, who has been a supporter of our Green Week this year. They've been talking to us about their sustainability and local um, agriculture efforts. Um, at their local business, which is just down in downtown Durham, which is great. Um, another question, so who's heard of TED Talks before? Yeah, it's a good group. Um, so um, TED Talks, did you know they started 26 years ago? And they've really grown, and the web presence is just amazing with these talks that are really focused on ideas worth sharing. That's the whole bottom line idea with, with what um, TED Talks are trying to achieve. But what they're doing is they're presenting information in a way that's not death by PowerPoint. It's really engaging. It's really interesting having people share about their passions and their expertise in a way that maybe um, you wouldn't necessarily look for on your own. So the idea with the TED Talks this year, Fuqua is really into cross-functional learning. And we hope that you embrace this today. We're going to give you exposure to our four tracks. It's, um, we start off with sustainability, then we have finance, then we have in the afternoon we're going to look at um, social impact and um, technology. So we have four people that we've picked that we think are really going to share with you their experiences in each of these fields. Nikki Radoni of Gills Onions is going to start us off this morning. Nino Fonlo is going to um, follow her with a little bit of a, a presentation about what he does. And then this afternoon, it will be um, Elliot Sanchez from N School, and Will Patrick is going to finish us up from Google X. So we have a, a, a wide variety of topics that we're going to touch on, and we hope that you are as excited about hearing from these folks as we are. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.